second to last day for week eight because you guys still have to submit your technical assignment tomorrow okay now um please make sure that you follow our rules okay and you submit because we are really trying to enforce the late policy okay so try to submit on time and then you have the entire sunday to rest and relax okay um second announcement for this morning okay now at 12 um noon utc okay 12 to 1 today instead of the chit chat session we are going to have two guest speakers okay and they are nabil and nahum and they were batch three alumni okay so they are from the third batch and basically they are just going to have um, a discussion with us on ML engineering, ML ops, and what they do in that industry. Okay, ML engineering and ML ops. Now, guys, um, it, it will really be bad if they are here. They've given us this time. They've made uh, the time for us. And then we only have three or four people or 10 or 15 people join. We have over 40 people, over 40 trainees, okay? So please pin it down in your schedules that at 12 to um, 12 to 1, okay? We're going to have guest talk from Nabil and Nahum. And it's going to be interesting because they're going to tell you what they actually do in the MLOps and the machine learning engineering industry, okay? Um, Arun, I don't know if you have anything you want to add before. Um, I don't see my letter Abu Bakar yet. So I don't have anything you want to add this morning. Yeah, just give me one second. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, hi everyone. Um, so good morning, uh, we're busy. So Malat is here. I think Abu Bakr is joining. So I think somebody keeps not letting Malat join. I'm not sure why. Um, yeah, no, I'm so I curious about careers. Um, I want to keep moving the career side of things ahead. Um, more than careers, I really want to start working with the, the group here on professionalism because we're missing something. Um, and I I'm not really understanding somehow the whole group. For example, it's 10 in the morning. There are four people who are here. So I'm struggling um, because we are putting our name on the line when we connect you with employers. <clears throat> it's, it's, not, it's not possible that you have a scheduled stand-up meeting and you show up late. It's simply, well, it is possible, but not at the level that we're aiming for. Um, you do yourselves a disservice, and everyone here is doing themselves a disservice if they show up late. Um, or you show up, you don't show up, you sometimes show up, you get feedback, you don't necessarily implement it, people schedule. Um, th there's a formality which is essential to be ready for work anywhere in the world. And I'm starting to see that it's slipping. And it's normal, but it doesn't, it's not good for any of us. Um, and it's especially not good for you as you go out in your careers. If you show up late, if you don't show up, if you say you're going to show up and you're not there, um, these are it, it, it starts to change the character of what we are doing. For example, next week, we have the head of data science coming from um, a very big e-commerce company. And I'm not convinced, or I'm not exactly sure what to say, if uh, next week we have 20 people like we had yesterday. So I, I can appreciate that everyone here may be busy, but uh, yesterday we had a great guest speaker who had some really interesting things to say. And I don't believe that anyone here is uh, less is more busy than he is um, but more than that there's a it's for me it's a sign that people were starting to get our priorities wrong if we think that it's more important to prioritize um, getting a little bit more work done in the weekly submission as opposed to hearing a different perspective on where the industry is going and the chance to ask questions then i think uh, we have a prioritization problem so I am frustrated. Um, I feel like in terms of professionalism, we are not where we need to be. And in terms of prioritization, I'm seeing that there's a gap um, in the ability to prioritize. And so today, it's uh, we're six minutes after stand-up. It's a mandatory stand-up. 
and there's less than half of the less than half of the team that's here. So we have 40% of the team that's here. So I, I also asked a bunch of questions, or I asked at least two questions on the rocket chat, and I have one answer so far. So I I would actually like to understand um, what's what's going on. We today is this is not the format to do it in today's discussion, but I need to understand what's going on among the trainees. You can send me a message. I want to start uh, understanding exactly where where we've gone wrong, um, and this both the professionalization and the prioritization are issues. So it's great. It's great to be fun. We're friends. We're all here, and everyone's here to do a. Everyone's here to learn in a collaborative environment. But the work that we are preparing you to do is uh, is serious, and the teams that we want to be able to place you into are serious teams. And if we're not showing up on time and we're not able, to, so if we're not acting in a professional way, and if we're not able to make the right uh, decisions on what do we prioritize, I believe that it will be detrimental to the careers of each of you. So it's still seven minutes in, less than half of the group is here. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of reasons, but uh, those are the two points that I want to emphasize. For me, last point, and then I'm going to drop off, there, <clears throat> as we get closer and closer to careers and we start placing people with interviews, it's very difficult for us to put the 10 Academy name behind people, and actually we won't, who haven't demonstrated the required level of professionalism. Because more important than the group of 47 people here today is uh, the, the name and the reputation and the whole group of alumni. And I really like the fact that people that we place in the industry, employers are happy with them. They, are, they work hard, they show up well, they, they don't just deliver whatever code they need to deliver and try and maximize things. But the community contribution is uh, it's essential. And that, yeah, I, I'm not seeing it. Uh, by and large, I'm not seeing it. So we need to make those two changes, professionalism as well as prioritization. Happy to discuss. Maybe it could be that I'm missing something. Maybe Rocket Chat is an ugly beast. I don't, I don't deny that. I'm also not super happy with it. But I don't believe that we're at the point where um, if Rocket Chat's an ugly beast, Google Meet is not. So people should at least be here. So I'll stop there and hand over to uh, Abu Bakr and Malad. But I need to, I need to, and I would like to understand uh, where things have gone wrong. But not today. Not during. Well, not during today's stand up. For today's stand up, let's let's talk about our weekly challenge. Okay. Thank you, Arun, for that. So let us start on your progress. And can you share us? Anyone who would like to share us their progress on today's stand up? Okay, not tonight. Okay, good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Fine. So, okay. how is your challenge and how is it going? Is there any blockers or? Okay, uh, the challenge is going. Uh, not as as smoothly as I expected it would be, but uh, mm. I'm trying to connect with uh, some fellow trainees and ask them mm. a couple of questions on things I haven't understood. Uh, mm. Mainly trying to uh, do visualization, some kind of visualization, and try to interpret it. Mm. Uh, and hopefully, I will try to do more of it and uh, submit some work. Okay, what was your specific challenge? Let us discuss it on it with others also if they have the same issue. Can you write that on the rocket chat? Okay, I will write it on the rocket chat. Okay, thank you. Just pick up someone who will go next. Okay, so I'm seeing the Blaze Papa. 
place are you there uh, yes i am how is it printing good good how are you i'm doing good as well so uh, how was your progress my progress is quite smooth i guess i'm trying to also get to understand because i think the data is the key in this case so i'm trying to understand trends which could possibly could possibly help me come up with better policies for this challenge as for it i'm getting help from a group which we are trying to submit something good yeah okay so do you have any uh, new strategy or uh, to tackle like to change the policies or to solve some of the questions asked there <laughs> I'm still trying to work on that. Uh, I think there's a lot of things to uncover from the data, so it's, it's like quite a process. From data understanding perspective, what do you like to share us? <clears throat> okay, let me just see a couple of things I noted down. I'm trying to understand a couple of trends that I did note, such as why the cities have highest number of blacks and Hispanics as a locality, which if you like go to the domain knowledge of how america is based this is kind of off something to understand that uh, i'm trying to see the effect the locals have and how we can use this as a policy to try understand how best like the education system can approach this and also like also on some of the products and how they were used i'm probably trying to see how the effect they actually do have on education so the like, type of things i'm trying to work out oh well, that's nice to hear so i hope the others are getting an insight from this so they can share they can talk to you can you pick up someone else hmm i think i'll go with amon kimitai hmm amon okay amon thank you thank you hello good morning good morning Uh, yeah, How are so you? I'm doing well. Yeah, I'm glad to see another day. Um so my progress so far is quite okay though I uh yesterday evening I had a challenge that uh, became a blocker but uh, I'm going to share in the rocket chat because it's an error in the code and I think I'll yeah. get uh, a way through. Uh otherwise i i think it's so far so good because um there are many ideas that i've gotten i've been working a lot yes but uh in the deep analysis i've been getting much ideas on how to analyze the data proper okay thank you for sharing that one so do you have any new thing which we you would love to share with us uh not really just pick up someone to go next um Rachel thank you amon Rachel are you there Rachel are you there? Okay Rachel. So let me uh randomly select from my screen. Kate, are you there? You are in the in a position to speak. Uh, morning, I'm here. Yeah, good morning. How are you? Fine. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Um so how was your yeah. progress how was your progress on this week's challenge um i think i'm progressing well i'm also trying to uh, make sense of the visualizations i'm trying to create in relation to the the goal of the project so i'm still trying to interpret you know it's one thing to plot but it's also one thing to visualize things according to the things we're trying to solve so one thing i noticed was that the for the county connections ratio it's only the rural locals that had a ratio of 1 to 2 mm. 
I mean, the range of one to two. So I'm trying to understand why and uh, in terms of US and the states and why it's like that. So that's one thing. Yeah. Okay. So did you get any answer for that? Or yes, you are playing to uh, just you are trying to figure it out? Yes, I'm trying to figure that out. Okay, here is. I think there is a discussion on that, so you can check that. Yeah. Let me share the link. Uh, can you pick up someone? Um, Dorothy, can you? Yeah. Hi, morning. Good morning, Dorothy. Um, um, how are you? Fine. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So, well, I've been progressing well so far in trying to understand the data and also trying to answer the questions that um, were provided. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. I'm doing well. Yeah. Any challenge or blockers? Uh, so far, no. I'm okay. Okay. Thank you. Can you pick up someone? Mm -hmm. Um Binyam Binyam C C. Okay. Binyam are you there? Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Can hear you. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, I have been doing uh, the EDA part uh, so far. Uh, I've presented yesterday and I haven't uh, progressed that much. I was <clears throat> trying to connect the visualization, the outputs to what the to what the question or to the project uh, requires uh, so but i'm um, <clears throat> i'm progressing good and i think i'll be uh, finishing it soon okay that's good so do you have any major blocker or challenge there uh no 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 it's actually Thank you, William. Can you pick up someone? Okay. Uh, has not made spoken? No. Uh, I think he has spoken. He has spoken. He has spoken? Okay. So, uh, okay. So, you'll see. You can see the dark. Thank you. Yusuf, are you there? Um, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, the good part about the, this week's challenge is it's similar to week one's user analytics. Mm -hmm. uh, we kind of use the same scripts and more or less it's similar. So that's the good side. Uh, the hardest it's when I join this platform, the Kaggle, <laughs> it just indicates me that the more I surfed into Kaggle, the more I don't know much. And because I've, we can, you can see lots of people exercising and with years and years of experience. So. On the technical part, I completed the EDA part, and uh, I'm extracting insights as of now. So, uh, it, so far, it's going smooth. Okay. Have you managed to answer some of the questions? Uh, not exactly, but I'm getting there. Like, I'm kind of having another kind of like roundabouts on them. Uh, so. Okay. That's fine. Uh, so, can you pick up some on it? Uh, yeah, Zanu. Hmm? Zanu, Christian Zanu. Okay. Christian. Yes, morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Yes, I'm, I'm fine too. Uh, uh, how was your progress? Yes, well, I, I, I'm still working on the on feature structure using Korean Net. And I think maybe at the end of this journey, I will try to also three or uh, more than three questions on figure. And I will work also with my teammates in order to to see uh, in order to see the progress and compare what it offers from. Hello. 
developers. Yeah. 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 Yes. I, yes. I was saying that uh, I'm still working on features extraction uh, using Kula Next, and uh, uh, I think at the end of this training or this day, I will try to to answer at least two or three questions on Google. And I will, I will have maybe a Google Meet with my team. OK, that's fine. So do you have any media telling your blockers? Uh, yes. yes. Um, I, I think it's a little bit difficult to me to, to work on Tegel, but I'm trying my best. Um, it's good. On Tegel notebook or? Yes, yes, on the notebook. Mm, it's connection issue, or there's um, another issue which we don't know. No, about. it's about uh, working the other way too. Uh, yesterday, I was, I have, I, I get some issues to to save my CSV data. I don't know why. When I try it, it, it was saying that the working the other way is not specified. Uh, can you post it on the rocket chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll post it. Yeah. Thank you, Christian. So can you can pick up someone else? Uh, yeah. Oh, Oh, it's all. Sorry. I will choose Yema Beza with Lem. Okay. Beza, are you there? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Hi. So, um, I did try to get some visualization on my side, and yesterday what you had about the message that was useful. I was seeing and um, um, watching around on other notebooks, and uh, as um, Joseph said, that shows that um, we possibly are a lot behind in the world. Like it does show us. I'm, I'm uh, I have a, a, I know a little like on everything that I thought I know. So the, the calculus challenge was uh, a best thing you, you did to us to participate. Other than that, yeah, today I'll meet with the um, with the ladies, Dorothy, maybe, and Stella, and I'll try to do more on what they um, they participated since they are working on a group, and I'll do much progress. That's my update. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Can you pick up someone else? Oh, hello. So, good morning. Good morning. So the challenge is also personal for me. It's still been the idea part and I'm trying to understand the, the questions that they're asking. Mm -hmm. Have you managed to answer the questions? No, I'm planning to answer the questions today. Okay, how was your exploration going? Like on the data, do you have you used any external data? Uh, the exploration is doing good, I think. Um, but I, I want to relate it to the questions that they're asking so that you can understand the data. Okay. So can you pick up someone else? Desmond. Desmond. Good morning, Malet. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine. How are you? I'm also fine. So from my side, uh, I was able to work on um, the exploration of the data try and do some cleaning, the pre-processing. And now I'm just trying to work on some statistical modeling and uh, trying to do some visualization so that uh, 
um, I get to uh, get some insights on uh, the data that we have. So that's basically what I'm doing. Okay. okay, do you have any new strategy or just you want to share with us? Like how are you are planning to answer the questions or any insights which you have given? Well, I'm, tr I'm still trying to uh, understand what statistical model I'm going to use. Uh, then I kick straight into the modeling. Okay, that's fine. We'll do that. So, can you pick up someone else? Okay, um, Daniel Zalalem. Okay, Daniel, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, mm -hmm. So, this week was. I was doing, I think I was doing well. We were doing in Teams. Uh, we have done some feature engineering and uh, cleaned and pre-processed our data uh, to be ready for exploration. And we have done uh, some initial exploration and have got some basic insights. And uh, today I'm planning uh, to implement new methods to get more analysis and insight. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Uh, so, any major blocker or any challenge do you have? Mm, so far, uh, there's no major blocker or challenge. Uh, so how are you planning to like to answer the questions there? Okay. Uh, yeah, do you have any strategy or yeah. any plan? Okay. Uh, we are trying to implement new methods by applying uh, clustering and uh, casual inference if we get time. But mm -hmm. besides that, we have already uh, extracted some useful insights from the data visualization part. Okay, that's fine. So, I think we have uh, uh, time for one training so we can pick up some. Okay, so I will pick uh, um, Fubani, if uh, he's there. Fubani, are you there? Uh, yes. Good morning. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. How are you? Fine, how are you? I'm fine. So, oh. my progress. Yeah. So, my, yeah, my progress is that um, I do some CDA on the data. And um, I've, I've tried to answer some of the questions, but then my answers are not confident well, well enough. So, I, today I'm planning on adding the external data to my. To my have you found that external data? Yeah, what is it? Have you found any external data? Yeah, like open, uh, open uh, source uh, data? Yeah, which will uh, help I'll you to it. answer the question. Uh, yes, I found the data. I visited the link that they provided. So, can you share us uh, the useful one or which you think is useful for to answer the questions on the rotor chart? Okay, because uh, I've just downloaded it right, like right now, so I, when I try to reach out the data, then if I find it useful, I'll share it on rotor chart. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Fumbani. So, let me add one question. Uh, if anyone... Uh, not for you, though, for the whole community. If you find anything which helps the team to like to tackle the challenge in a better way, just share us on the Rocket Chat Week 8 channel. So that will be helpful for the others also. And Yati, over to you if you are there. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Um, so thank you so much. 
for all of this. Thank you so much for this, my love. Um, so I am going to stop the recording. Um, guys, announcement again. We have a guest. Okay, Christian, hold on. We have a guest. Um, today to actually Nabila Nihom at 12 okay it's going to be the same um, link that we always use for our town hall meetings and stand up so guys please let's try to be there okay 12 p.m utc okay so i'm going to stop recording christian go ahead yes uh, I, I, I would like to, to know how how to uh, how to submit a folder on kigal i still have an issues with that because uh, I would like to to build uh, different kinds of notebook. I think it will be it will be better like this. Okay, um, Malet or Abu Bakr, I don't know. Um, if you could answer Christian's question. Uh, I, I I didn't get the question. Can you repeat it? Yeah. Yes, yes. I, I, I was saying that uh, as as we are doing on GitHub, we can push uh, many kinds of notebook. Maybe one for data preprocessing, one for instruction, one one for visualization. Yes, I would like. Is it possible to do the, the same things on GitHub? You mean to create different notebooks for different um, parts of the project? Yes, yes. Um, you, you, you can create different notebooks for different parts of the project, and then if you just appear on your code tab, on, on your profile in Kaggle, uh, but then it won't be like it's in a particular repository that it specifically states it for this project. So you have to be, uh, you have to like have a naming convention that you would use that would uniquely identify each notebook and what it's actually doing. So it won't create itself like you have different records, I mean, the way we have for GitHub, but then you can create different notebooks for, uh, in Kaggle as well. Okay, so guys, uh, uh, but uh, do you think that they will take that for account when they will uh, evaluate us? Um, the one you submit last will be the one that they would um, evaluate you on. Like that's what they would base their evaluation. Uh, the the last notebook that you submitted will be used to evaluate you. So that means the last notebook that you are submitting must have um, all the insight that you generated from your initial analysis to the uh, end. I'm not sure you can submit a zip file where you have all your separate notebooks in. But um, I'm sure you can like send a link of a particular notebook to them, and then they would like look at that and use that to evaluate. I would advise you stick with um, one notebook to like um, do the uh, insight. You can have separate notebooks for like um, doing um, answering different questions, but then the ones the one you will submit should have uh, should like be the combination of everything that you found out from the initial stage to the last bit. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Just to, uh, to answer so many questions, you can submit the collab uh, notebook for us, but I don't think so that will be feasible for the competition. But just try to read the competition rules, and if it allows you to link your collab uh, uh, notebook link, you can test that and you will be a part of the not, uh, the competition at the Kaggle. But for the uh, academic submission, it, it's fine if you test your uh, collab notebook submission. I think okay. it answers uh, uh, Also, one another question. When, 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 when we submit, uh, they have one green line on our <laughs> Yes, or well, maybe notebook. That's mean what? What does it mean? Well, like we I, didn't get, I didn't get your question. Okay. I said, when we submit uh, uh, a notebook, mm -hmm. the, on the notebook, there are one line which, which appear, a green line, which appear it's on yes. your profile. Yes, that's uh, like in profile picture. Yes, yes, starting board. Yeah, it's for your contribution on the Kaggle. 
like your submissions. Okay. Just the statistics. So more, more is more is uh, is higher. The more, the, more, the more you contribute, the circle will uh, be filled with green that green line. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. Thank you, Christian. Okay, thank you so much, Malet and Abubakar, for stepping in. So I am going to stop the recording this for this morning's standoff. Okay, so um, we had scheduled.